Hey guys, it is Luke from DLM here, back for the second part of the Terraria spoilers video. The first one was uploaded about an hour ago. I'll leave a link in the comments for this one, uh, in the description for this one. So this is just an analysis of the 25 things you should be most excited for in the Terraria 1.4 Journeys End changelog. There is a massive changelog and there was no way I was getting through all of it. First of all, we're just gonna look at what the major features in this update are as per the, uh, as per the changelog. So we have journey mode, master mode, two brand new bosses and mini bosses, uh, the bestiary, golf, uh, windy day weather, and way more music and town effects and pylons. That's just the major features, so it doesn't include the thousands of items. The first thing we are looking at is the underground desert now has some structural changes, very exciting. New paintings have been added to underground desert homes, which look awesome. Look at my previous video, a variety of new structures and changes to the dungeon, which I think is really important as the dungeon kind of can feel stagnant after you've gone through one or two of them. I think this hopefully makes dungeon generation more consistent. Next, we have a hard mode desert chest and biome key, which is a very cool idea. Next, we have all the new music they're adding. I had no idea they were adding this much. And all of the music, new music they've released so far have been absolute bangers. So I'm excited for all of this to hear it. Um, very, very cool. Two new bosses. I mean, it's already been talked about, but that's that was, that's what they mentioned on its own. That's bloody sick. Um, there is also the two new mini bosses, which is super cool. Next, we have several underworld critters, and I really like going around and collecting um, critters and bugs. Um, so I'm excited there's a few new ones. There's 22 in total. I don't know how many will be from the underworld. There is a cat, a dog, and a bunny town NPC, which I think is awesome, or town pets. So I guess you can get them to spawn and live in your town, which I think is super cute. Uh, next, we have ice oasis, lava, and ocean fishing crates, which is more fishing... Uh, specific loot we have gold uh gold goldfish and several of gold critters which are really fun to find following that we have a new ultimate sword so a new better version of the terror blade i think it's really cool that there's going to be a kind of um ultimate sword which has some kind of i guess impact as opposed to miami which is a bit of a meme uh, following that we have the celebration nk2 which is an improved version of the celebration and the celebration is getting moved to a lower tier drop i assume uh, the celebration was a bit weak uh prior to 1.4 so it'd be good to have this coming out and kind of jamming it up uh next we have a dozen new accessory tinkers which is awesome because um compiling collecting accessories into better and better items is such a good feeling i hope it is like a final version of boots which adds all the different types of boots together as at least one of them following that we have the zapinator if you don't know the zapinator was a testing item prior to 1.1 which uh the Realogic team used just for testing and it looks like they're finally bringing it back in so that we can use it as kind of a a meme weapon now who knows if it's going to be as powerful as it used to be because when it was created as a testing weapon it was ridiculously powerful i think it did like a thousand damage per hit um and had zero mana cost or something like that so hopefully it is as powerful it might not be and it might be so <laughs> you know next thing is 50 new food and drink items into the game and it looks like some of them you can place which i find very very interesting or very very compelling to use in um I guess different building like we've seen a chicken we've seen drinks we've seen ale which can all be placed um and I, I think it's just a really cool I guess uh set of vanity items or furniture items that you can use for decorations um, there's a lot of cool ways the creative community always uses them next we have echo wars which allows you to place previously unplaceable background wars so naturally occurring background wars in your world which is very exciting because a lot of times I've wanted to build on my survival world, but I haven't been able to because I would have had to hack them in. So it's very good that this is now an option for us. Following that, we have potted indoor trees, and I love potted plants. They always look sick. So potted indoor trees will also look sick. I really like having some natural elements inside houses when designing them in Terraria. It's just a very small thing that I'm excited for. Um, following that, we have 10 new mounts. The only ones we know about are the lava shark that I can think of at the top of my head. This one's big. Rain is slightly less common. Fuck rain. I'm so happy there's less of it now. Uh, expert enemies who steal your money will now be shown on the map and they won't despawn. They'll also show you how much money they've stolen on the map. I think that's very cool and it makes it much more because balanced. Dynasty wood blends better with other tiles now is something that's worth noting because it might be good and it might be bad. I think overall it'll be good, but it might ruin some of my existing builds, which use a lot of Dynasty Wood, and uh, relied on the fact that it didn't blend well with other blocks. But who can tell? Hopefully, it still looks good for the existing builds. Uh, the next thing is they're buffing the Wonder Sparking. 
you probably already knew this, but I think it's a very, very good um, change because the Wonder Sparking is a bit of a meme at the moment. The second last one, the Reaver Shark has been nerfed. I think it is an incredibly important nerf. Makes speedrunning a lot harder, but I think it was a bit ridiculous to be able to drop, skip almost all of hard mode by fishing, all of pre-hard mode with just fishing. Uh, following that, we have um, a difference in how the well-fed buff works. And it, it's interesting because the well-fed buff is probably the buff that you rely the most on in expert mode and definitely master mode. Uh, and I think it's going to have some really cool implications for how these changes are uh, applied. Or oh, there will be cool implications as a, uh, because of how these changes are being implied. Um, uh, applied. So that's the 24. Sorry, I said 25, but there's only 24. That's the 24 changes that I think are most uh, important or most interesting in the change log. I highly advise you checking out the change log yourself if you want to see everything. There's a link to it in the description. Please leave a comment for what you are most excited for. Um, and I'll bloody see you in 36 hours with the Terraria update.